John Holloman here. He is the creator of the organ that's sitting behind him. And I have a few questions for him regarding uh, this creation. John, um, when did you get interested in, uh, in organs? Oh, I've been uh, interested all my life. I remember going to church with my dad and my family uh, when I was five or six or whatever year old. And uh, and they had an old, they had a pipe organ there in that little church, uh, and it uh, really made an impression on my mind, and it's uh, stuck with me ever since. And what uh, what brought you to to build this particular type of organ? Well, I knew I could never afford to buy one because these things are very expensive. So I've uh, done a lot of research over the years. I've always been uh, uh, organs. I've always been a bit of my hobby. I've uh, had quite a few reed organs, and I've had some pipe organs, a pipe organ, a big church pipe organ. And uh, I decided to uh, build one that would fit into the house. So I did uh, lots of research on it. Uh, I got some plans online, which I modified to my own purposes, and I, uh, I proceeded to start to build it. Uh, I've known you for about 15 years now, and when did you decide to start uh, the project? Uh, as soon as I had decent plans, which, uh, which I found online, like I said, and because uh, I always was drawing up my own plans, like toying with ideas and whatnot, but as it's, there's details that I didn't understand because I'm just an amateur in this field, and, and I'm an amateur musician. I didn't uh, have any formal uh, musical training. So I started this about three years ago. And how uh, how did you come up with the plans, even though you did get the plans off of line, uh, and what materials did you construct the organ out of? Well, it's mostly out of wood. Uh, well, I'd say, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's mostly out of wood. Uh, uh, different kinds of wood. So the case is uh, poplar. And... Uh, this is old spruce from an old piano which I salvaged, re re reused, and uh, keyboards maple with uh, white uh, poplar sharps and flats. And uh, yeah, I use a lot of woods. A lot of the pipes are made out of poplar, which uh, has a good uh, sound qualities. Now, you say that you started the project three years ago. Approximately how long did it take you to complete it um, in an hourly sense? Hours? I have no idea. I lost total track of hours. Uh, if, uh, if I were to get a minimum wage for all the hours I put into this, it would cost a fortune. And how did you plan it? Um, like I say, I bought the plan. I bought... Uh, Plans for a for a uh, continuo, which I adapted to uh, to this organ. Uh, the continuo had a electrical or electrical motor uh, blower in it. The plans did, but I decided to go with the old-fashioned bellows and uh, make it totally self-contained.
John, would you be able to explain a little more about the, the pipes that are inside the organ? The pipes, uh, yes, there are 102 pipes. I have two stops, an 8-foot stop, which is the top knob here, and a 4-foot stop, and these are stopped pipes. Uh, if you know anything about organs, you have an idea what I'm talking about. Uh, and these are all made out of wood. I, uh, I can show you them a little bit here with uh, taking this away. And uh, they're from the lowest note to the highest note. And uh, that's what makes the sound. I guess that's good. You also said that you did a lot of research before you uh, attempted the build. Uh, what research did you do? Did you use any particular books or materials? Well, I, years and years and years ago, uh, information wasn't that easy to come by. Today we have, we have the internet and we Google it and we you know, have uh, instant access to a, a lot of these things. But in those days, when I started researching it about 40 years ago, I, I borrowed some books from the library, which I had to wait two weeks to get. Oddsley's Aud, uh, organ building, I forget the exact title of the book. but And then I also uh, uh, learned of an organization that specialized in uh, organ literature. It was called the Organ Literature Foundation of Braintree, Massachusetts. And I uh, bought quite a few books from them. I uh, Milne's uh, organ building and Wick's organ building and Robertson's organ building books and I studied them and uh, basically taught myself. And who taught you your craft of, uh, of woodworking? Oh, my basic woodworking skills I learned in, in, in school in industrial arts already and, and I still use the same principles and, and I've uh, taught myself about the different qualities of different woods and whatnot, yeah. And where did you receive your musical training? I've never, uh, I, I took a few months of organ lessons uh, from a church organist uh, where I was living at the time. And, um, but for the most part, I've, I've taught myself, like I say, I'm an amateur, so. But I enjoyed playing the organ and, and my purpose in playing the organ and, and is basically to give glory to God. I, I use uh, the organ mostly for playing hymns and, and it's, it's an important part of my meditation and, uh, and uh, focus in life. John, thank you very much for um, allowing me to interview you today and would you indulge us in another hymn or two? Sure, my pleasure. Mm -hmm.